Hi guys, this is Aksana Burfeinard and welcome to my channel. Now in today's video I will be showing you um, another experiment using a different sharpener called Hovel by Maker's Cabinet. And um, there is, was already a video in the past that I created where I shared with you three of my mostly used uh, sharpeners. Now, if you're an artist, you probably know you cannot have enough sharpeners. Um, and there is always something somebody mentions or you find uh, something by researching uh, or other sharpeners may work for other people and you're like, uh, I need to give it a try. Oh, I need to get it. You get excited like a kid in a candy shop because um, there. I think as uh, long as we um, travel down our artistic path, we will never be satisfied probably with only having one perfect pencil sharpener. And they're not all created equal. Some sharpeners work better than others. Some work only for certain pencils, certain leads. And uh, I have discovered that personally that for some pencils I like using a certain uh, tip point, a certain sharpness from one sharpener. And for example, um, a more gentle sharpener for a different brand of pencils. So I again, you cannot have enough sharpeners. So if you would love to see my quick demonstration of uh, using Hovel, stay with me and enjoy the video. So here is my setup all ready to go and um, talk to you about uh, this uh, interesting, um, very unique uh, pencil sharpener that's uh, been on my list of uh, sharpeners to try but I never actually got courage to buy as they're not on the cheap side at all but thanks to my dear friend Ruth Hoyt she's an artist and photographer um, beautiful bird photography check her out on Instagram she uh, sent this to me to try as uh, she got it and um, had a bit of a trouble um, using it and I cannot thank her enough for actually giving me this opportunity to uh, try before I buy myself if that's what I decide on doing after experimenting and seeing if it's worth uh, investment. Now Hovel is uh, made by Maker's Cabinet so it's a really really beautiful craftsmanship it's uh, a nice uh, and solid piece of metal it and I will take this out okay so it comes already with the blades and uh, I already have the blade inserted but there are instructions on how you can insert the blades and it's when you hold it it's really kind of heavy it's on the heavy side now, if definitely not something that you want children to play with, or even you have to be careful yourself and not accidentally n n knock uh, your forehead or something, because this is a this can leave a little bruise if you drop it or on your uh, forehead by accident. Not like you're going to try to do that. Uh, and um, it's really, really, really interesting. Beautiful design, beautiful design. Now I know there are different reviews have been done on this, so I'm not going to go into detail uh, on all the characteristics of this um, sharpener. But what I'm going to share with you is my own personal experience and how it works personally for me. Okay, so if you fi would find it helpful, that will be amazing. And um, uh, I want to, so I did play with it a, a little bit and uh, I was afraid at first to test it on one of my expensive pencils. So I just took my daughter's uh, school pencil, uh, the school grade pencil here and uh, tested it on this and you can see it worked. It created a sharp point and now it, when you hold in your hand something so exquisite you, it's like uh, almost you're afraid to mess up or you're afraid to use it, but you shouldn't. You shouldn't. It's designed uh, 
to be not just for decoration uh it's definitely adds uh, to your collection of uh other pencil sharpeners you may already have and i do find it it's quite portable it's quite it's a uh, very very easy to hold i i like that i can um hold it with my dominant hand you want to hold it in your dominant hand and the pencil will be in non dominant hand so obviously this is already done when i practiced now i practiced only once just to let you know so here in my video i will practice on four pencils i will try the prismacolor premiere i will try Luminance by Carandash, I will try the Polychromos by Faber-Castell and the uh, Holbein um, Cardist pencil. So four pencils. Now, just for the sake of uh, time and the video, these are my most uh, commonly used pencils and we'll see how it works and how it behaves. One thing to notice is that when it comes uh, in the package, it, it will uh, have instructions on how insert the blade correctly and uh, there is this knob and it screws and unscrews them which allows you to uh, pull out the blade at the depth that you wanted so if you loosen it up if you loosen the screw you can like kind of wiggle back and forth it will let you do that and adjust the blade so the more it's out the more de the deeper cut it's gonna be the deeper cut into the wood of your pencil so when you have a you see how it goes like it's kind of wobbly right now because the screw is uh, loose so here's like i wanted for example like this much out okay so i will like turn it a little bit upside down so it's easier to screw and then just screw it on till it's tight comfortably tight and so we're going to work with uh, this blade this is how much it's out okay uh, so what you want to do you want to grab it with your uh, fingers on your dominant hand comfortably and uh, in your other hand a pencil of your choice so what if you have watched a, a video where i shared with you my three most uh, commonly used uh, sharpeners uh you can see my other sharpeners uh, uh, mentioned there but if you also watched the video where i work with pastel uh, sticks i uh, i show my idea of rotating the pencil or the stick in this case it would be the pencil but uh it was um, suggested that you associated with the rotisserie chicken so you will constantly rotate so in this case what helps me is to rotate my pencil while i'm working my hovel in a sw uh, wiping motion and uh, let's just start and uh, try to sharpen you kind of like just go like this like you're shaving it uh, the best um, analogy for me would be uh, not analogy but the best uh, explanation is like basically it's a blade that has a fancy uh, holder and like you would be sharpening it with a blade okay but you have this beautifully craft uh, craft uh, craftly designed it's a beautiful high on the higher end if definitely craftsmanship so what you want to do you I hold it um, a little bit lower obviously the pencil and I'm going to rotate not yet but i will as uh, i will be uh, sharpening so let's just start and to me it it's really by a feel i notice that there i cannot give you exact instructions but i can show you okay so so you find there's a place where it kind of grips and then glide it grips and glide it and now the pencil will stay at one angle but the hovel can angle be angled depending on how you want it uh, to be sharpened on the look on the effect so so i hold it a little bit i don't hold it uh, straight i hold it a little bit at the angle and i and i keep start rotating my pencil as i sharpen it
I keep rotating and sharpen it. And you can see these little shav shavings, wood shavings. You want something underneath. I just uh, had paper towels on the disposable plate. It's really up to you what you want to have underneath. Uh, all right, so let's see how it sharpens. Okay. You can do it fast or you can do it slow. You can uh, vary your motion by like going, swiping it long, like long way. Or you can short swipe like this. Hard to explain. It's really... When you uh, start doing it, you kind of, kind of feel, have a feel of the pencil and how the hovel sharpens it. So you want to be careful. Like right now, a little tip just um, uh, broke off because uh, I'm still experimenting. I'm still experiencing, I mean, uh, testing how it works. Okay, so you can also like, depending where you start, like uh, where you hold the hollow, that's where it will start cutting through the wood, right? Shaving it down. So if I do it more toward the tip, it will sharpen the tip. And uh, if you angle the hollow, that will, that's what, um, will sharpen the point better. Okay, let's see. Now it's not perfect. This sharpener is definitely something to get accustomed to. It's uh, one of those uh, things that uh, will come with practice, the more you do it. And um, obviously, this is something that I have only tried. Well, this is already second time trying. And uh, as you can tell, the point is a little bit on the short side. This sharpener definitely has has uh, uh, not, a, not the same effect you would get from the battery operated sharpeners or crank type of sharpeners. So it's really, it's like a, it's a tool. It's a tool, hand tool that you would hold. And uh, it's all in your hand. The power is in your hand is uh, how you're going to move around, how you're going to angle it, and also how you're going to adjust the blade. Uh, and that, that, all these things will depend on your final result, okay? So let's uh, try luminance pencil. Let's see how it will behave, actually. Um, I'm kind of curious if I loosen it up and readjust the blade again and see if it will be any different. So, it, let's see. I really sometimes feel like it's not doing much, but... I, okay, let's try this. Okay. So as you can tell, I have no point here, it broke off. And uh, Luminance is one of the pencils that does, uh, because it's a um, eight millimeter diameter, it won't always fit a, a, just any type of the sharpener. Uh, sometimes you would need a, a, a different kind of sharpener to fit the, this diameter in. So let's see how this works. And while I'm sharpening, I'm trying to keep my dominant hand, the one that's holding the hovel, not too heavy. So I'm kind of trying to glide it or slide it, whichever term you prefer, to kind of like uh, naturally, so it won't be too much pressure. Okay, let's see. So I keep rotating it, my pencil. So this is uh, so far how it's looking. Just by, this is all by uh, angling the hobble and rotating the pencil. 
Now you don't want to angle it too much as you don't want uh, the point, the tip of the lead, okay, to break. Okay, so let's try now my next pencil, the polychromos. Okay, I'm just going to kind of clean it up a little bit. All right, let's try on the polychromos. Okay, it's a little bit like a resisting a little bit, I noticed. Okay, now I'm angling it a little bit and it's working better. This is really just trial and, and error, I guess. The best way to learn, right? If you don't make mistakes, you won't find out if, whether or not something has worked or not. Okay, so let's see. Not too bad. I like it. Not too bad. Can you see? Let's see. Let me put that down. There you go. I love it. I love it. I'm actually starting to like it more. The more I practice and get a better handle on it. Okay, I'm gonna... You don't have to um, brush off anything if you... It's not required, but I... This is just what I found that works for me to, to kind of dust off the blade. And now on to my last pencil example on my Holbein artist. Okay, this is where it gets a little bit resistant. Shaving it all down, rotating pencil, gliding in repetitive motion your hovel in your dominant hand, get into the point you want. It's really a lot by the feel. Like I would feel like where I would do it too much and the, the tip may break off. So like, I think this is not too bad, not too bad. Again, this is all just comes, I would, the best suggestion is if you don't want to ruin your nicely pencils, practice on the cheaper pencils or student grade pencils, uh, graphite pencils. You can practice before you, you will actually reach out to your um, expensive pencils. But so far, I thought, I thought that uh, it wasn't too bad. The Prismacolor was a little bit... Actually, let's go back with that to that Prismacolor pencil. Let's see if I can make this, now that I got a, a little hint of it, let's see if it uh, make things better. Because I'm getting more confident. Oh yeah, the hovel seems to like confidence. Trust your hovel. Trust. Trust your hand, trust your feeling and uh, intuition. But it definitely the wood is not of the same quality on Prismacolor Premier. Okay, it's a little bit better. I think we can say that we had success. Voila. And I'll show you the pencils. I started with um, student grade. And then I did the Prisma color and I redid it again. Then I did luminance, polychromos and uh, Holbein. Now it's now it's up to you whether or not you want to include something like this uh, in your collection of uh, pencil sharpeners or not. But again, is this this is a beautifully crafted uh, and designed uh, pencil sharpener. Uh, 
I think it will be lasting for a long, long time, especially with blade replacements that you can get. And they have the other accessories that you can get for Hovel. And uh, I'm not affiliated with them in any way. So this is just, I want, I, I know there's not a lot of out there uh, of any reviews, but this is a, hopefully was a, um, a bit of a educational video for you and how it works personally for me. Uh, and I'll just leave it up to you here. And uh, uh, thank you, thank you for staying with me and being patient. Um, here you can see all my little shavings. Thank you so much for watching the video and uh, seeing how this sharpener works in action and hopefully you saw some interesting results or it might not have impressed you at all so it's uh, oh, this is why I created this video so you could see for yourself uh, whether or not you want to add this in your personal collection or not so I really thank my dear friend an artist a photographer Ruth Hoyt who sent this to me to test out and play with uh, before I made my own personal uh, decision whether or not to, I want to purchase or not. So thank you again and thank you everyone for taking your time and staying with my channel and watching my videos. Um, if you like uh, what you see and want to fi find out more of my videos in the future, like and subscribe to my channel. I hope you have a great day. See you next time. Bye-bye. Oh,